from the Tallahassee Leon County Civic Center in Tallahassee, Florida. It's a Southeast region first round encounter between the third seeded Michigan State Spartans out of East Lansing as they host from the Big Sky Conference the Weaver State Wildcats who come in with a number 14 seed. On his way out, he's thinking a little bit of like to think about Al McGuire, Coach Al McGuire, who went out, won a championship on his way. And from the Big Sky Conference, it's Ruben Renhardt, Nemhard rather, the Player of the Year in the Big Sky Conference. For Weber State tonight, Kirk Smith, Jimmy DeGraffenreed, Jeff Lentner, Ruben Nemhard, and Lewis Lofton. Weber State out of Ogden, Utah, about a 35 minute drive north of Salt Lake. They were a little curious as to why, as a 14 seed, they came east of the Mississippi River, but here they are. There's a whole lot of people just happy to get in, and I think if you, you cut to it and you talk to Ruben Nebhardt and the rest of the Wildcats, they will tell you they're happy to be here. We got outside shooters. Uh, the Graffin Reed can shoot from outside, <laughs> and Lewis Lofton, when he decides he can't get it inside, can't do. And this guy's hot. Debs comes out to defend this time, and the turnover number six for Michigan State. Still a seven-point game with 5:15 to go in the opening half. Debs number 24 got it. Uh, he can do little things. And Michigan State leads Weaver State 46 37. Jim Nance, Clark Kellogg. Along. Here's Lofton. Number 34 off the glass. Oh, no touch. Wow. Mentioned a couple times. They've allowed a lot of this themselves. The Graffinry backs up and takes the shot. Got it. Well, let's see if that gets him off the snide because I'm telling Weber State with a chance to go on top. They trail by one. Nemhart. Yes! Whoa! Three. Off the front rim. Chased down by Andy Smith. He finds Nemhart. Here's Lewis Lofton. Oh, dandy play. The, the great play was the pass by Andy Smith. He's not a ball handler, and he got it out to Nemhart. This is the play right here. Now you got a guy that can make plays. Eric Snow has to come over. He comes late. You see Lewis Lofton. Loft it. And yes! I like it. Steve Young would be a little disappointed there. You don't see the defender. The Graffin Reed. Yes! Up, you push it up because the defense will collapse. And if you get out there late on shooters, Jimmy DeGraffenray is a shooter. That's inside, has a look at Andy Smith. Nemhart. Got it. 58 51. 64 teams. Ron A. Beglin. Well, Ron A. Beglin had his team come out, I thought, and they played aggressively coming out. Uh, here in the second half. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness, a long one. Another long one. Whoa, and the lead is eight. And he threw it out of bounds. Kev's posting up. Finds the graph and read. Loose ball. Up and in. He can do that because it was a muff. And you can muff dribble it and then if you muff it again you can grab it and they're trying to say it's travel it was not the senior from Belize City Belize nicknamed Shaba at the line shooting two I, I had to inform you through my hip-hop knowledge that that's from uh, Shaba ranks I can't put my <laughs> hip-hop knowledge in my hip pocket Kirk Smith gets the first I'm, I'm here to keep you informed about these kinds of things you are making me culturally conscious. <laughs> yes, this is this is good for all of America. Got them both. Oh, oh my he goodness. Two big shots. 76-72. And the final 25 seconds for Michigan State and perhaps for Judd Heathcote. Respert. Tough shot. Oh. Jump ball. That goes to Weaver State. That's the fourth foul on Brooks. Jamie Fike will come back in. And both teams with one timeout left. The possession arrow now goes to Michigan State. Well, in 1982, Idaho defeated Iowa in overtime. That was the last time a Big Sky Conference team won a game in the NCAAs. Ironically, it was over a Big Ten team. Either Brooks or somebody with long arms that could get after a shot. Weaver stayed up by five. Snow rejected. Oh. oh, my goodness. Nemhard. 
Air ball. Boy, they did it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Weber State wins. And Judd Heathcote's career at Michigan State comes to a conclusion.